on to Prophetic Drive Time. I'm Eli Lasky. Let's get into this word. So I got a quick prophetic word this morning for you. Um, so uh, this morning the Lord says, uh, "We are the." It said to me, uh, "We are this. We are the same thing." You know, just really just leapt into my spirit. You know, and I was as I was considering what He began to show me was is that He's preparing the bride. Glory to God. And in that word, we are the same thing. What He was showing this is this is more like a prophetic word to let you guys know that uh, what's what's happening uh, in the spiritual realm is that the Lord is really preparing the bride, and and there is a transition for many of God's people from milk into meat to the meat of the word, where where we where the Lord uh, is going to begin to open up the understanding understanding of who we really are, what it means to be uh, in Christ and what it means to be as Christ is. So are we in this world? You see, because what the Lord was showing me in preparing the bride, what he was saying is um, we are the same thing, which uh, which means this that that this is a word that he has given for intimacy sake for intimacy sake you see because when when the groom comes the bride has to be prepared and what we know is that there is a process of consummating the marriage and 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 and, and in that process of consummating it, uh the marriage the the uh the uh the term used is to know Adam, and Adam knew his wife, right? And 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 the two became one. The the, the terms oneness and and to and no are are terms that 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 speak of the intimacy between a husband and a wife. Amen. Glory to God. And so what the Lord is saying is we are the same thing. And what and what he was what he's saying is I'm preparing my bride so that so that we could have and, and, and the purpose of this preparation is for the intimacy. And it's really something that he's doing now. You see, because it's 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 uh, it's a word that he's giving. Uh, it's it's kind of two, threefold, really. There's so much in, in this word. He's given this word for the for the uh, uh, the eventuality of his 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 arrival, but he's also given this word in uh, for for this space that 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 we find ourselves in now, um, because one, it's going to open up greater intimacy for uh, for his people, for us to come into him and have have a greater fellowship. You know, when uh, what he was showing me was is that the term oneness and 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 knowing these things. Things are 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 um, have been mysteries that and and that have been woven throughout the gospels and throughout the epistles. One that they may be one. John 17, where the Lord says, "It is my prayer that they may be one, even as we are one." Talking about the the alignment, the one accord, the deep intimacy, and 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 what He was showing me is there is a power that comes out of that. There is uh there is so much life that comes out of that intimacy. Glory to God. Even in John 17, 3, where he says this is eternal life that they may know me the one that uh that they may know you, the one true God, and the Son and your Son Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. You see, at the end of the day, what God wants is to know us, for us to know Him, and for Him to know us, for us to know one another. And He's talking about us to have intimacy. You see, that's what this was really all about. And and as we and and for many people, as we transition from the world into into in, into the kingdom, what happens is. Uh, in the beginning stages, we are servants, right? We have the mind of a servant, you know, but even as Jesus walked with his disciples, they were servants. And then he said, I call you no more servants, but I call you friends because, because, uh, uh, um, everything that the father has told me, I've told you. And they went from friends and they, he said, now go tell my brothers that I go unto my father and their father. And what he was saying, he says, I'm, I'm bringing you guys on. I'm bringing you, um, I, you've been elevated to the same position in the same space as me. You're the same thing as me. And what happens is he said, many of my people don't see themselves as the same thing that I am. And as a result, as a result, they, 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 they don't allow, they don't open themselves up to have the kind of intimacy with them that I want with them. And even that they want, but they still see themselves as, as, as a, a, a part of that old man, part of that old man. So there's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of shame that they have. It's been difficult for them to let go of. And then even in that old man, there's a lot of things that uh, that um, that from the world that connects, that draws on them, and they and they and they constantly feel like they're fighting off um, uh, uh, these temptations and 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 all of the yuck that comes from the flesh. And he said, you're only fighting it off because you still identify 
satisfied with that. So it's like, I see myself as yucky and I want to be better. And he said, but the reality of it is in order to in order to rise above that, what you have to do is you have to submit and humble yourself and see yourself in the truth. See yourself as who God says you are. And then and and and, and what will happen is once you submit and surrender yourself, Lord, I see myself as you says I am because it's, it's, it's something you've made me. And the difficulty people have is they don't see themselves how God... Uh, they don't see themselves how God truly made them because they feel like they haven't earned it. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> you see, it's difficult for them to receive such level of goodness and, and, and they feel like, well, if I earn it, if I establish my own righteousness, if I establish my goodness, if I can just put this down, then I'll be worthy to be your son. Then I'll be worthy to take this mantle of it. And the Lord said, that's the wrong order. You receive it as a gift freely. And then what will happen is it'll break that off. But it'll break it'll break off the, uh, a lot of those things for many of you. It'll break those things off because those things have no draw on the spirit of God. Which is which is what he deposited in you. He said it only has a draw on the carnality on the flesh It only has a draw on the flesh And so if you still think that you are flesh trying to be spiritual then you got the order messed up He said you must have to you receive the spiritual first. This is who God says I am God says I'm this we're the same thing. That's who I am Lord and I may not feel it Lord or I may not you know uh, 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 I may not deserve it Lord or whatever But this is what you've done for me as a gift and I receive it I humble myself and I receive it and I say thank you father that I am brand new and what's gonna happen is Shame's gonna have to break off for you guilt's gonna have to break off for you condemnation's gonna have to break off for you and what it's gonna open up a doorway to you to for you to begin to experience the fullness of the love and the intimacy intimacy with God that he desires to have with you and what's going to happen is those things that have been a grip and a, and a, and a have had a, a a hold on you will begin to break off for you this is some real meat of the word that the Lord is bringing forth because he says this I'm preparing my body I'm preparing my bride I'm preparing